that's fair. So we'll see. I like that pick though with Oklahoma State. Best odds to you to hit their win loss over when you go through the list here of the 14 teams here in the Big 12. Um, who do you think has the best odds in your estimation to hit the the win? Hit the you can do positive, hit the over, or hit the under. Who are you most certain of? This is maybe the toughest conference to do this in, honestly. Because mm. um, I look at Baylor, and six and a half feels a little low, and I like Baylor, but I'm like, I don't know how many tangible things I can really point to. I just I feel like they should be better than six wins. Mm. Um, but I look at Kansas. If if Jaden uh, Jalen Daniels can stay healthy, like six and a half. I think Kansas should be able to easily do six uh, win seven games this year. Like obviously his health completely derailed last season, but I don't know. You look at the, the, the preseason first team, all big 12, like they got like three guys on first team. Kansas does like, I don't know. Uh, the, the vibe in, in Lawrence, Kansas feels a little different right now. So I, I think I might go Kansas on the six and a half. I go over. Lance Leipold deserves a statue just for the fact in the year of 2023 on a college football podcast, Matthew Green, Matthew W. What's your middle name? Walker. Matthew Walker Green comes on this very show and proclaims among 14 FBS Power 5 schools in the Big 12 Conference with everything we know about the Kansas Jayhawks, <laughs> he put more stock and more belief that they would hit the over on a six and a half win total than anyone else in the big 12 we have seen some of the absolute worst of college football with the kansas jayhawks over the years and if that's not enough for lance leipold to get a lifetime contract like get jimbo <laughs> fisher money it's the fact that there is that much belief in what he's doing and that they're going to win more than six games and be the best bet to win and hit the over of all these Big 12 teams. That's it's a wild state of affairs and I don't well, necessarily Well, to be fair, the numbers the numbers do affect that because some just some that, teams like being at 7. 2 years ago they were at like a game a game and a half. I think they were, they were at 2 and a half going into yeah. last season, yeah. Um that is that is def definitely uh crazy where they've come from, but I mean, I just Oklahoma Texas should be the safe one, right? At 9 mm. and a half. But Texas is just Texas, and it's like, I don't know. It, until they prove I can trust them, it's hard to trust them. But I they should be good for that 10.5 or for that 9.5. But Oklahoma feels a lot riskier at the 9.5 because 9 and 3 seems like a, a realistic thing that they could uh, do this year. But I don't know. There's, there's some tough numbers in this conference. I think Oklahoma at 9.5 and, and hitting the under is my best odds. Like, I would pound the under for – they're not winning 10 games like Oklahoma winning 10 games would absolutely for me. I, I think that one's way too high. The Oklahoma one's off like that is just a bad read, bad bet. Don't do it. Stay away. Oklahoma at nine and a half. I would say among this is like, no, no. Yeah. No, and at no, the very no. least, just the fact that they're the exact same number as Texas going to that. I just, yeah. that doesn't make any sense to me either. Um, that's they're just getting a like a, call almost like a hedging of like who they've been forever. And it's like, I just, I, I don't know. I think but I think this... it's fair. Like it's okay. It, Oklahoma does have a tradition and they're buying into that year two head coach thing. That's what it is. Six and a half teams. What is your stat here, Matt Green? And why folks who are previewing and thinking about what this big 12 is going to look like um, this fall? What, uh, what is the, um, the importance of six and a half? Yeah, we were just talking about the Kansas Jayhawks there at six and a half uh, this year. And and who cares about teams that over under six and a half win total? Why are we even wasting time talking te about teams that are preseason six and a half? Well, if you go back to last season, the two teams that played in the Big 12 championship, TCU and Kansas State. Kansas State won. I don't know if everyone remembers that, but Kansas mm -hmm. State did win that game. Both of them were six and a half uh, over under coming into the season. And they played for the Big 12 championship. So mm -hmm. of the four teams on our list uh, this year at six and a half wins, we got Baylor, Iowa State, Kansas, and Oklahoma State. Which teams are the most likely to be the dark horse teams that, that get into the Big 12 championship this year? Well, I think Oklahoma State at six and a half stands out. 
Um, I think they're probably the first one that comes to mind here. It kind of speaks to like when they're doubted and like when people are wondering, it's like, oh, Oklahoma State, Alan Bowman was healthy. They ran the ball really well and the defense worked out and just like that. Oh, 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 oh.